Uh, reflections video for this afternoon's uh, 1 1 draw with Huddersfield at the den. Uh, yep, they scored with a penalty in the last minute when I was halfway down Colblow Lane and uh, I thought we'd scored again and I was just catching the uh, cheer. But no, uh, it was 1 1, and if I don't sound very surprised, it's because I don't think we deserve to win. We got just about everything wrong out there today, from the attitude of the players to even, yep, the managerial uh, decisions from the side that was picked to the side that was adjusted even. Uh, the side that was picked really shouldn't have been drastically different from uh, Wednesday. I don't think there was any in injuries carried over from uh, the game against Leicester. So why was Neil Watmore on the bench? He's playing 10 times better than the Bermondsey Berg camp who seems to think he's just got to turn up on the team coach to get his place in the first team and then he can moan, act like a prima donna and basically just do nothing for 90 minutes. Well, he didn't get 90 minutes, did he? He got taken off on about 69 or 70. If the gaffer thought his job was done, well, it wasn't, was it? And his distribution again was rank. Neil Watmore came on after probably thinking, what on earth have I got to do to get a starting berth? Played in his position and then showed him, if he hadn't gone to have a bath, how it should have been done. Uh, so quite what happened there, I do not know. And the other ones, because I can't really be too uh, worried about going into the intricacies of the game because uh, it's just so predictable and so what we will do. Uh, late goals, conceding late goals are our speciality this season, irrespective of how they come around. I will say that Brook Norton, Cuffey and uh, Ryan Leonard again were the two standouts. And uh, I'd also like to know why, when we were in a position of needing to seal that game up, Alan Campbell was brought on. Alan, please Flipping go back to Luton Campbell. Yeah, that's the one. Bought on. When, I don't know, I mean, I don't know much about this stuff, as I often said. I'm, I don't know what it is. I just know football's round. I mean, after 70 or so minutes, I wouldn't have thought the away team were getting tired or their defenders were getting leggy and someone fast and pacey might have turned the game completely. We haven't got anyone like that. Have. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we have. We've got him. Uh, I do a Maku and we've got uh, Room and Essie. They didn't come on. Well, I mean, the gaffer must know best there, mustn't he? No, he didn't. Either of those two or even both, if he'd have played one down the middle, one wide. I ain't uh, no tactician specialist, but I think we might have won that game or certainly scored a second goal and made their penalty immaterial. But we choose again to, we always seem to choose to uh, go for safety. And I thought that had gone out of a window. But yeah, you could say it's down to lack of confidence. But that shouldn't really affect the manager. This is his honeymoon period. This is where he can do things like this and not get judged for them. But I don't think Alan Campbell is ever going to win us a game. Whereas uh, Ruman S.A., and I do Umaku would win us a game, as would Neil Watmore, as opposed to Zion Fleming. Fleming was lucky. Yeah, I know he's gone from the Bermondsey Bird Camp to Fleming, but there you go, it's football. He was lucky to start and he contributed, as far as I'm concerned, absolutely naff all. So, yeah, Huddersfield didn't create a lot. We didn't create a lot great a lot really and if you was looking at it as a neutral you would probably think a draw would be a fair result here and guess what it was a draw 1-1 one, one. all we're done now is uh heaped pressure on ourselves for who is it next stoke away uh what will happen in that 
I don't know. We'll get the predictions during the week, won't we? But uh, yeah, all we've succeeded in doing a day through bad selection process and the way we actually played, which was bordering on lazy again, is heaped more pressure on ourselves for these games coming into Christmas and after Christmas. And yeah, as I say, I still think there's three teams worse than us, but we've put a struggle on. Very quickly, completely different note, lovely to meet uh, Dean today, another one of our team, another one of our uh, Millwall Tube uh, predictors, who's a great deal more intelligent than me over these things, and uh, is posse. And also, big shout out to Mel's Cafe, who are my guardian angels over uh, the food I eat these days, being extremely lactose intolerant. So if any of you lot watch this, I think you're absolutely awesome. Come on, you lions. Lucky, lucky.